Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Daisy. Today I have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the LockClick ID Studio software. I will show you several steps to facilitate the use of your new LockClick machine. I will start with the most basic steps to the more advanced ones, but do not worry. Using this software is very easy. It is a user-friendly software. Let's get to it. I have these beautiful designs in this canvas, but I will start with a clean canvas. To get a new canvas, click on this folder with the plus sign, and there you will have a clean canvas. Always saving the previous one. So this is canvas number two, and it's a blank canvas. The measurements of this canvas is in millimeters. You can leave it like that if you wish, but if you wish to work with inches, click on the top of the canvas and change it to inches. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to work with the shapes. To draw shapes, we have these two icons. I'm going to click on the square and I'm going to draw an oval. I'm going to click on the oval, then I'm going to draw it on the canvas. We can draw an oval or a circle. And to make a perfect circle, we select it, then we click on the right side on properties and then on size we click on the center icon to unlock it then we change the measurements that is how to create a circle and also an oval with our own measurements same way we can create a square or a rectangle now if the square is not perfect we're going to do the same step as we did with the circle. Change the measurements manually. Also here we can create lines. Also if you would like to create other shapes click on the icon that has the star and there you will be able to draw a star, a triangle, a heart and many more. Now I'm going to show you how to resize objects. Select the object and you will see those little squares around. Grab them and stretch them to the outside to make it bigger or to the inside to make it smaller. Also you can rotate it using the little squares on the corners. Also, if you wish to resize it to your own measurements, you can go to the size bar on the right and change the measurements just like we did with the circle and the square in the previous steps. Now, if you wish to duplicate the object, select it, right click, copy, then right click and paste. Now you can resize it or rotate it using the dots around the image. Now if you wish to flip the design or the object, click on this icon to flip horizontally or vertically. This step is necessary when we are cutting iron on vinyl because the designs to be cut with iron on vinyl need to be on mirror mode. I'll show you soon. Now I'm going to show you how to align objects. I'm going to select these three items on the left, then I'm going to click on this icon to center horizontally. Those six icons can be used to align objects. Now I'm going to select the object on the top and I'm going to align vertically. That is how we can align 
center horizontally or vertically. Also, we can align to the top, to the bottom, to the left, to the right, etc. To undo or redo an action, we use these two icons. Now I'm going to show you how to add colors to objects. Select the object, then you will see a window on the right. On color, click on the black square and there you will have the option to pick your color. Now I'm going to show you how to unite or weld two objects. I'm going to weld these two objects. I'm going to put them together. I'm going to change the color on the star so you see it. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Then I'm going to select both layers. I'm going to align them first. And then I'm going to click on the icon that says Unite. And here I have one layer. Now I'm going to change the color. Now that I already showed you how to unite or weld several objects, I'm going to show you how to subtract. I'm going to use these two objects. I'm going to cut part of the square. For that, I need to place the circle on top of the square. We can use any of these four icons to position layers. I already placed the circle on top of the square. I'm going to select both layers and I'm going to align. Then I'm going to select both again. And I'm going to click on the icon that says subtract. And we already removed part of the square. Now I'm going to show you how to unite at overlap. I'm going to use these two shapes. I'm going to place the circle or part of the circle on top of the triangle. I'm going to select both layers and I'm going to click on the icon that says unite at overlap. It removed the outside and just left what was overlapped. These steps might be simple, but they are very useful when creating designs or while working with designs on the Lockly Creative Studio. Next, I'm going to show you how to subtract at overlap. To show you, I'm going to use this square and this circle. I'm going to place the circle on the top right corner of the square. Then I'm going to select both and I'm going to click on the icon that says subtract at overlap. It left what was outside and removed what was overlapped. Now I'm going to show you how to separate layers. For example, in these two icons that we removed the overlapped part, it created one layer, but let's say you need to separate them, just select them and click on separate layers. Now you're going to have two layers. Now I'm going to show you how to work with text. I'm going to add text on top of this heart. I'm going to click on the T above, then click on the canvas and start typing. If you wish to change the font, select the text and you will see a window on the right side of the canvas. Go to text there you'll be able to change the font. If you click on lock click you'll see the list of fonts that are on the lock click software. 
if you click on system you're going to be able to see the fonts that you have downloaded to your computer I like to click on system so I can use all of the fonts that I have downloaded to my computer I have bought a lot of fonts from Creative Fabrica scroll down to find your font or if you already know the name of the font just type it once you have the text you can always change the color with all of these tools it's very easy to create our own designs using the Locklick Idea Studio software now if you wish to group the layers of a specific design select all of the layers right click and then click on group now i'm going to show you how to add offset you can add offset to shapes text or images i'm going to select this heart and then i'm going to click on offset and i'm going to drag the dot to the right to create the desired thickness of the offset then click on confirm and there you have the offset you can select it and change color if you wish now I'm going to show you how to insert images to the Locklick canvas first I'm going to show you how to insert images from the Locklick library click on library and there you're going to see the gallery with tons of free images that you may use this library has more than 12,000 free images scroll down until you find the image that you're looking for also you can look by type or if you know the name of the image you're looking for just type it I typed love and these ones are the images that show up once you find the image that you're looking for select it and click on the sign and there you will have it on the canvas now if you wish to use an image that you have on your computer click on this icon with the arrow open the folder where you have your image select it and open it this is an SVG image now right click and ungroup remove the watermark also I'm going to remove the background and the image is ready to be cut now I'm going to show you how to create images using Locklick AI artificial intelligence click on the AI icon on prompt you're going to type the description of the image you wish to create for example I'm going to create an image of two birds inside a heart surrounded by pink flowers once finished typing click on generate and there is my image it's beautiful once ready select it and click on import now here we're going to clean the image for example I need to eliminate the black background I'm going to click on the magic wand then click on the black background and the image is already clean when finished click on import we already have a beautiful design that we can use to print then cut now that I already show you those steps on how to use the Locklick Idea Studio software, I'm going to show you how to cut permanent vinyl and iron on vinyl. I'm going to use these two designs that I have already uploaded to the Locklick canvas. 
the design on the top is going to be cut on iron on vinyl. I'm going to select the design and I'm going to flip it on mirror mode. The designs that are going to be cut on iron on need to be flipped or turned into mirror mode. Now I'm going to cut this design. I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to click on connect the machine. My machine is already connected, but if you need to connect it, you can select either Bluetooth or USB. I like to connect my Locklick machine via Bluetooth, so I click on Bluetooth. Then the program is going to find the machine. Keep the design selected, then go to Material. In here, you're going to select the material that you're going to cut. In this case, iron on vinyl. We're going to select basic heat transfer vinyl. Remember to mirror the images before cutting on iron on vinyl. Now this design has two layers. When cutting, it will place each layer on separate mats to make it easy to align and to save on material I'm going to place both layers on top I'm going to place the hearts together like this we don't waste material since they are same color I'm going to weld or unite all these layers and I'm going to place both layers on the top of the mat. Then before cutting, I'm going to select and click on cut. Click on the top layer and there you're going to see both layers. And as you can see, both layers are on the top of the cutting mat. So now we're going to place the material on the cutting mat and on the lock click machine and then we're going to come back and click on start. We're going to cut one by one. I'm going to cut the black layer first, then the pink one. Place the iron on vinyl with the glossy part facing the mat. Click on the arrow to fit the iron on, then go back to the computer and click on start only on the layer that we are cutting, in this case, the black layer. It almost finished cutting. This machine is super fast and very quiet. Now I'm going to weed the design and same way I'm going to cut the other layer. I already have the two layers ready to be pressed. I'm going to press them on a kitchen towel. But before, I'm going to cut the regular permanent vinyl. I'm going to place this design on the side. Then I'm going to place the other design on top. And we don't need to flip this image. When cutting permanent vinyl, we can cut it just like that. And we're going to change the material. We're going to select Glossy Permanent Adhesive Vinyl, then click Cut. Now that you already placed the vinyl on the machine, come to the computer and click on Start. Place the permanent vinyl with the paper side facing the mat. Glossy part on top. and it's ready. Now I'm going to weed it and I'm going to transfer it to a skinny tumbler. To transfer this design, I'm going to use transfer tape. I'm going to link all of the supplies used in this tutorial in the video description below.
I love how it turned out. It's a very simple design, but it looks beautiful. We can also customize these skinny tumblers with names or even other images or designs. Now that I already finished customizing this skinny tumbler, I'm going to move to the iron on vinyl. I'm going to press the design on this kitchen towel. I'm going to press the design at 335 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. Before pressing, place a piece of butcher paper or a Teflon layer on top. I'm going to link all of the supplies used in this tutorial in the video description below. First layer is ready. I'm going to remove the transparent film. Then I'm going to place the pink layer. Remember that I cut the heart separate. Like this, we don't waste iron on vinyl. Place them and we're going to place the transparent layer that I removed before. Then I'm going to place the Teflon layer on top and press at the same time and temperature. Let it cool down a little bit and remove the transparent layer. It's warm peel and it's beautiful. I love my Valentine kitchen towel that I'm going to put on my stove. I love both the kitchen towel and the skinny tumbler. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the LockClick Idea Studio software and how to customize using iron on vinyl and permanent vinyl. If you like this video, I invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.